Hi, in this slide uh, I want to offer some criteria for helping a branch uh, or at the branch level deciding, having the management team decide who would be our number one, two, three, four, or five most promising target gazelle accounts to go after. Um, so here are the criteria. First of all, um, they would they would f be a member really of our number one niche because for that niche we're going to fine tune our fill rates, to have the best everyday highest effective fill rate for that niche in our competitive area. Where the rest of the service value equation, including service quirks that go um, with that niche, so we've got the best fit uh, and form and tone for that. Obviously, they would be bigger rather than smaller. Um, we would have our foot in the door. It's easier to go from 2% of account to 60% than it is sometimes to go from 0 to 5. Um, so if we have, have our foot in the door, and ideally, we also would have easy access to lots of influencers. And this is actually not um, unusual for very uh, progressive companies. Very progressive companies are always looking for ideas and they're happy to talk to anybody for a minute or two. I mean if you've got substance they'll listen. If they don't they'll dismiss you very quickly. Um, but ideally we would have access so we could see opportunities and, and have expanded conversations. This is very important. Number five, they have a, they have a partnering track record. Um, when uh, everybody says, oh yes, let's synergize, one plus one equals three, let's double our joys and have our sorrows. But if you looked at the last five years and said, hey, how well does this company partner with its employees? How well do they attract and keep best people and keep them engaged and turned on? How well have they partnered with other suppliers? I've been into very large accounts who frankly are just bullies. And I've asked them for testimonials. I've said, well, do you have other supply vendors that you've partnered with that I could call to ask about the relationship? And they, they, they hump and haw and say, oh, we, uh, we know we don't share that kind of information, which is code for no. We're systematically trying to shake them all down. Um, so that's probably trust is a track record. That's, that's a very important one. If there is a company that's very big and maybe hasn't been notably uh, progressive, but a, a new person has been brought in from the outside as CEO, because it is a turnaround situation, or for example, at the at the vice president of supply chain level, I I, uh, I had an experience back in the mid '80s where a huge company systematically was trying to, uh, you know, pound all the suppliers down for all they're worth, and then a new new vice president of purchase came in from the outside, and explicitly said, let's go find the absolute best service provider in each category and just make them part of the long term solution, marry them. So it was really a 180. Um, so when you when a when a new person comes in, they're going to have a new agenda and they're going to want to make things happen. So if we have progressive solutions, they're going to get an audience. Um, seven, uh, we have an edge or edges over the current suppliers. So in other words, who happens to be the person that's enjoying the business, and how long has it been going on, and how sort of habitual and uh, casual has that gotten? And if they're kind of you know taking it for granted and falling a little bit asleep, we can leapfrog them and go in there and offer something quite a bit better that they can't really understand or respond to. And this is also very important and it sort of ties in with uh, with four and five and six, which really is a, is a census that uh, do they have a track record of the last five years of growing more rapidly than the, the, their industry mates and because they, they are very specific, they're very focused, they're very disciplined. You could ask the CEO or somebody out there on the floor what's this company all about? And they'll tell you. This is who we go at. We don't try to be all things, all people. We really focus on these people and we're the best at it. And this is how we know we're the best at it. You'll hear that kind of language from top to bottom and inside out. So, but it manifests itself as just a, a, a more rapid growth record. Conversely, if they've grown nowhere in the last five years and the same people are running the company as was running five years ago, the odds of them growing or becoming Walmart next year is zero. So we're looking for high net present value, net profit. So it's one thing to say, given currently they are, if we had all their business, how much net profit could we make? But if they're growing 20% a year, 
over the next 10 years brought back to the present, that's, that's, that's a lot of present net profit value that we want to focus on. So those would be some criteria to help you zero in on your top five target Gazelle accounts at a branch location. Thank you.